Alright, so I want to show you some algebraic tricks. And how to use them for integration. So, two really fancy things that mathematicians do a lot to prove things is to add zero in a fancy way. So adding zero to something doesn't change it, but if you add zero by adding and subtracting the right thing, you can sometimes make good things happen. So adding zero in a fancy way is a very useful trick. And likewise, multiplying something by one doesn't change anything. But if you multiply and divide by something in a fancy way, sometimes good things will happen uh, as well. So let's see how we can add zero in a fancy way to, to solve some problems. Um, like, for instance, the integral of x over x plus 3 dx that you normally would want to sub for the denominator here but then you have to deal with the numerator but a very easy way to deal with this is by saying wouldn't it be nice if there was a plus 3 here because then this would just be 1 so what I can do is x is x plus 0 and 0 is plus 3 minus 3 And then I can break up this fraction into two parts, x plus 3 divided by x plus 3 minus 3 over x plus 3. So this is the integral of 1 minus 3 over x plus 3. And this is much easier to integrate, right? This piece is a nice easy substitution, u is equal to x plus 3, so du is dx. So this is just 1 minus 3 the integral of 1 over u du. So this is 3 ln the absolute value of x plus 3 plus c. So there are other ways to do this integral, but it's sort of faster to do it this way. Um, you could also do this for something like the integral of you know, 2t over t plus 1 that I sort of wish I had a, a multiple of t plus 1 in the, the numerator. So I could integrate twice. I could sort of add and subtract 2 here, right? So I make there be a t plus 1, and then this is 2t, which is what I have, plus 2, so I need to subtract 2 so I don't change anything. So by adding 0 in a fancy way, I get that this is the integral of 2 minus 2 over t plus 1. So this is 2t minus 2 ln of the absolute value of t plus 1 plus c. So by adding 0 in a fancy way, we can do these integrals maybe more rapidly than we would be able to by doing a substitution. Um, it's, it can make your life a lot easier. And this is related to a, a topic that we'll talk about later. Um, but this, these are sort of tricks not unlike partial fractions. Which is an integration technique that we'll talk about soon. So next we're going to see, you know, how can we multiply by one in a fancy way to solve some problems.